my name is Romy, Casty Baby and Momo are sleeping on my bed and it is Halloween in just a few days and I have been enjoying the Halloween the Halloweenness this month so much and I planned on making a um kind of like a Queen of the Pumpkins costume. Not necessarily as my Halloween costume, but just as like a costume because I thought it would be great and I watched over the garden wall and you've got the pumpkins from Pottsfield and then Rachel Maxey did an amazing um, kind of recreation of one of those characters and I was just, I just, I wanted to create something inspired by pumpkins, Rachel Maxey, uh, over the garden wall and Halloween. And I have slightly run out of time to craft my own costume so I'm going to be putting together um, a few looks from pieces I already have but I am going to be crafting at least one thing and that is that is that is one of those is a little pumpkin headdress <laughs> because I want a queen of the pumpkins with a pumpkin crown so these are actually inspired by one of my friends, Julie, and I was like, oh, I want to make pumpkins too. So, is that a bird? That's a, that's a big bird. What you doing, birdie? So anyway, I have crafted a few of these and I'm about halfway through painting them. And I'm going to go and finish painting them now and get my hot glue gun out and do some crafts. So I sculpted the little pumpkins using clay and once they were dry I had to paint them. I didn't have any paint that I thought would be suitable so I used this really lovely coppery orange very Halloween nail polish and I gave each of them around two coats to make sure they were nice and pumpkin-y. And then, well and then I got distracted painting some cauldrons. But then I painted the stems green and aubergine. Ooh. <laughs> Then once I'd made the flower crown or leaf crown using whatever leaves and foliage had come with fake flowers I'd bought, I popped little pumpkins on and they looked so happy and so darn cute. Finally, after many hours, many distractions, quite a lot of nail polish, I'm done. I've made my little pumpkin flower crown. Um, I was going to just have pumpkin similar to what I did with the button one for my Coraline look but the problem with that was that when I picked it up not all of them stayed on so I thought I would do a um, faux foliage base like as if I'm making a regular flower crown and then just add some of the mushroom you know mushrooms some of the little pumpkin friends on top and I think it's very cute. Um, it's not how I imagined and I didn't use all of my pumpkins because I want to keep them for decorating because I love them so much because I gave them little eyes. But now I am going to... there's a lot of strings of glue coming off this. But now I'm going to go and get in a few different outfits and become the queen of the pumpkins. I can't wait, frankly. <laughs> so this first look is what I imagine the Queen of the Pumpkins would wear on a regular basis. Out picking pumpkins, walking around town with her pumpkins, talking to you about how much she loves pumpkins. It's an everyday pumpkin look. This second look I like to think of as the pumpkin gala look. So, the Pumpkin Queen is taking her pumpkins to a gala and they all look phenomenal, especially her. I mean it's a velvet dress, it's pretty fancy. This third look is pumpkin planting day. So she's got a bucket full of pumpkin seeds and she's ready to go and plant and maybe harvest a few baby pumpkins if they've grown. Oh it's so exciting, all the pumpkins in her future. Oh this pumpkin queen, she loves pumpkins. What's not to love? They're pumpkins. And finally we have a 
Adventure Pumpkin Day outfit number four, which is just what it sounds like, an outfit the Pumpkin Queen wears when she's taking all of her pumpkins on a grand adventure. They might go through forests or find rivers or maybe they'll just stay in the fields they know, but they will certainly have some remarkable adventures. And she is dressed to ensure she can push wheelbarrows, carry pumpkins, and have the most remarkable day of all. I forgot I needed to film an outro, so here we are. That was the end, and I hope you enjoyed. I think I have found some more outfits that I would like to wear every single day, particularly the second one. I just love that velvet dress and vintage shirt combo. I hope your autumn or your spring has been truly spectacular, that you have a lovely rest of October and that your Halloween, if you celebrate it, is delightfully magical and absolutely wonderful. Bye!